Melachim 2, 2 Kings, chapter 15. In the twenty-seventh year of Yerovim, sovereign of Yisrael, Azariah, son of Amaziah, sovereign of Yahudah, began to reign. He was sixteen years old when he began to reign, and he reigned fifty-two years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Yechol Yahu of Yerushalayim. And he did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh, according to all that his father Amaz Yahu did. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still slaughtered and burned incense on the high places. And Yahweh smote the sovereign so that he was a leper until the day of his death. And he dwelt in a separate house. And Yotham, son of the sovereign, was over the house, ruling the people of the land. And the rest of the acts of Azar Yahu and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yahudah? So Azariah slept with his fathers, and they buried him with his fathers in the city of Dawid, and Yotham his son reigned in his place. In the thirty-eighth year of Azariah, sovereign of Yahudah, Zechariah, son of Yerovim, began to reign over Yisrael and Shamaron for six months. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh, as his fathers had done. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerovim, son of Navat, who had made Yisrael sin. And Shalom, son of Yavesh, conspired against him and smote him in front of the people and killed him and reigned in his place. And the rest of the acts of Zechariah, see, they are written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yisrael. This was the word of Yahweh, which he spoke to Yahu, saying, your sons to the fourth generation are going to sit on the throne of Yisrael. And it came to be so. Shalom, son of Yavesh, began to reign in the thirty-ninth year of Uzziah, the sovereign of Yahudah, and he reigned a month of days in Shamaron. And Menachem, son of Gedai, went from Terzah and came to Shamaron and smote Shalom, son of Yavesh, in Shamaron and killed him and reigned in his place. And the rest of the acts of Shalom and the conspiracy which he led, see, they are written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yisrael. And Menachem smote Tifzah and all who were there and its borders from Terzah, because they did not open it to him, therefore he smote it, and he ripped open all the pregnant women. In the thirty-ninth year of Azariah, sovereign of Yehudah, Menachem, son of Gedai, began to reign over Yisrael ten years in Shamaron, and he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerovim, son of Nevat, who had made Yisrael sin all his days. Pul, the sovereign of Asher, came against the land, and Menachem gave Pul a thousand kikars of silver for his hand to be with him to strengthen the rain in his hand. And Menachem exacted the silver of Yisrael, of all the mighty men of wealth, of each man fifty shekels of silver, to give to the sovereign of Asher. And the sovereign of Asher turned back and did not stay there in the land. And the rest of the acts of Menachem and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yisrael? So Menachem slept with his fathers, and Pekachiah his son reigned in his place. In the fiftieth year of Azariah, the sovereign of Yehudah, Pekachiah, the son of Menachem, began to reign over Yisrael and Shamaron for two years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerovim, son of Nevat, who had made Yisrael sin. And Pekach, son of Remeliahu, a chief officer of his, conspired against him and smote him in Shamaron, in the high place of the sovereign's house, along with Argov and Arieh, and with him were fifty men of Gilead. So he killed him and reigned in his place. And the rest of the acts of Pekachiah and all that he did, see, they are written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yisrael. In the fifty-second year of Azariah, sovereign of Yehudah, Pekach, son of Ramel Yahu, began to reign over Yisrael and Shamaron for twenty years. And he did evil in the eyes of Yahweh. He did not turn away from the sins of Yerovim, son of Nevat, who had made Yisrael sin. In the days of Pekach, sovereign of Yisrael, tiglath Pileser, sovereign of Asher, came and took Eon and Eval Beth Mekah, and Yenoach, and Kadesh, and Hezor, and Gilead, and Gileel, all the land of Naphtali, and took them into exile to Asher. 
and Hoshea, son of Elah, led a conspiracy against Pekah, son of Remeliahu, and smote him and killed him and reigned in his place in the twentieth year of Yotham, son of Uzziah. And the rest of the acts of Pekah and all that he did, see, they are written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yisrael. In the second year of Pekah, son of Remeliahu, sovereign of Yisrael, Yotham, son of Uzziahu, sovereign of Yehudah, began to reign. He was 25 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 16 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Yerusha, the daughter of Zadok. And he did what was right in the eyes of Yahweh. He did according to all that his father Uzziahu did. However, the high places were not taken away. The people still slaughtered and burned incense on the high places. He built the upper gate of the house of Yahweh. And the rest of the acts of Yotham and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the annals of the sovereigns of Yehudah? In those days, Yahweh began to send Rezin, sovereign of Aram, and Pekah, son of Remeliahu, against Yehudah. So Yotham slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of Dawid, his father, and Ahaz, his son, reigned in his place.